Alrighty y'all, so kind of the last little bit here before we get to some extra notes and such is the third part of that, which is we've gone over what it looks like for a platoon lead, we've gone over what it looks like for a squad lead, and now in general we want to look at what it looks like as a member of the squad platoon, um, especially as a leader with experience in leading, right? So that can be anyone, whether you've been uh, in the squad leader platoon lead position or not, um, but it's very, very easy with that wealth of knowledge to want to offer it to a new PL and say, hey, you should go here, this is what you need to do, and get people there. And Like, that's great, but again, you got to watch and make sure it doesn't become backseating. And I'm, we're, we're really, you know, we want to emphasize backseating because it's not even something that people, you know, do intentionally sometimes. Sometimes you just want to be helpful, but you have to recognize that it can very quickly turn into the lead that you're helping or trying to help feel like you're backseating and just, you know, pressuring them to do things that they want to do, uh, that they don't want to do. So you have to be very, very careful with that. If you want to make a call out, if you want to offer some, some advice, you know, make sure you ask, hey, PL, do, can I offer a suggestion? If they say, yeah, please, go for it. If they're like, actually, I'd, you know, rather just keep us going here, I'm going to keep us going to this thing, you know, so just listen and we'll get going, you know, then then that's it, you know, they've they've got what they're doing. If you disagree with the call they made, well, it's their platoon, right? They go where they want to take the platoon. It's much better for the platoon lead to make a decision that they're confident in than trying to take yours when they're unconfident in it, right? And you might just see that what they called works as well. So definitely keep that in mind. If you're not the squad lead, um, if you're not the platoon lead, if you're just a member in the platoon shooting things, that's, that's your job, right? You're there to experience. You don't need to be there leading um, when... You're there to shoot plan at people, helping your, your PL that way. So really, really watch um, the advice you're giving, if you're giving it. Uh, make sure it doesn't become backseating. Now, the other thing, we're kind of going on the opposite uh, perspective, what we were just saying. You know, as the PL, you want to make sure that your people are staying together. You want to make sure that everyone is grouping up and staying on the same objectives, um, whether that be from splitting up squads or as a platoon, you know, full platoon. Um, but whatever it is, making sure people are where they're supposed to be, where you've asked them to be. Now, you, as an individual player, can help with that. As, especially, if you have previous leading experience, you know what it's like. And so you can help your PL by setting an example for the other platoon members, other squad members, by not waiting for the platoon lead to ask you to, hey, can you get back on point, please? Just just be there. Know that the platoon is going ask to ask you to be there, and just be there. It helps set the example, helps your PL a whole lot, honestly. Just setting the example of being a good platoon member um, is so much more helpful sometimes than trying to offer advice on strategy or tactics, because again, people are there for the experience, and you can do that with or without winning um, when it's done right and when it's done um, with everyone doing it together, right? So definitely, definitely stay with your platoon lead, stay with your squad lead, listen to them, stay attentive, um, and everything will work so much better for you, and especially for the lead. It's very helpful to them, um, and you'll get a better experience overall as well. Now, kind of on that again, make sure that you are listening, right? Don't just be with your platoon, but also listen. Again, kind of, you know, I, I don't know about all of you, and I think this is a very common thing that a lot of people like to do. Um, I like listening to music while I'm just shooting Planet People. That's lots of fun. Um, especially if uh, I really want to go at it and have a nice heavy metal song or something going while I'm shooting. Um, that said, I gotta be able to hear my platoon leader or squad lead, right? Or both, if we have both of them. Um, I owe it to my platoon lead and my squad lead for setting up this experience for me, right? I, I want to be able to hear what they're saying. I want to hear where they want me to go on the map or what they want me to do. Because if, I, if I'm not doing that, then again, right? If I'm, if I'm just listening to music and I can't hear what the platoon lead is saying, um, then I'm, you know, I'm not really with the platoon. So I'm using music as an example, and I feel like I'm taking that example uh, specifically a bit too far. But in general, just be attentive. Listen to your platoon lead. Listen to your squad lead. Um, and again, everything will be much better. Alrighty. So, if you want to help a little bit more than just by staying with your platoon or squad lead, there are some callouts you can make that will be very helpful to your lead. And I've got a few examples for you, um, but there are some other ones you can make as well uh, as you learn the game and you kind of learn uh, what are those useful callouts. But some examples, um, beacon up, right? That if you have a beacon, I'm holding it in my hand here now. 
If you have a beacon, your squad lead says, hey, can anyone put a beacon up? Rather than just getting your beacon and placing it, um, you know, wherever it is you're looking to place it, if you can, call it out. If you're comfortable being on a mic, or even type this out in text chat. Say, hey, I've got beacon that's going up, or beacon is up for whatever squad, alpha beacon is up. That is very useful to your squad lead to know that you have a beacon going up, that they don't have to look anymore for someone else to get it up, that you've got that handled. Um, and it lets everyone else in the squad know to not have to place any more, because what happens if nobody calls it out is three people will place it all at the same time, and two of them are going to get overridden, right? So if you can call it out, very, very useful. That is a very handy, um, very, very handy call out that you as a regular member of the platoon can make. Now, another one is going to be calling out um, things like armor or air that you see, maxes maybe, stuff like that. Um, but don't, you know, if, if you, if you want to make a call out about where armor or air is and you want to help your platoon or squad lead by... Uh, let them know where that is. You know, it's it's good to be able to say, "Hey, I see maxes," or "Hey, I see air armor." That alerts the PL, um, and that's better than nothing. But it's so much better when you can give the PL or squad lead a direction. So you know, hey, because if if it's it's nice, and sometimes it's your only only option to say, "Hey, there's a max on me." Well, okay, but I don't know maybe necessarily as a lead where you are, and so I have to go look on the map, okay, where's the dead body, look for Alpha 6, okay, where's that, right? So it gets complicated. So some things that you can do, use reference points, right? If you see armor coming, uh, let's say, I'll use a waypoint on the map here, actually. Let's say that there's armor coming from our southwest, and Platoon Way happens to be right there. You can use Platoon Way as a marker. Say, hey, PL, I see armor coming west of Platoon Way. That immediately tells the PL, okay, open the map, look for platoon weight, there it is, so armor must be somewhere in that direction for Alpha Squad Wave, right? It's so much easier, saves so much time, um, and it's a very nice call out that you as a member can make for your platoon lead or squad lead. Alrighty, so yeah, giving directions, things like that, very, very nice. Um, another one you can say, one that's very, very common, is Valkup. So same thing with the beacons, right? Just saying, hey, I've got the Valk that's going up. If your platoon lead or squad lead says, let's pull Valks, we're going to go to this place, um, and you want to be helpful, you can say, hey, uh, squad lead or platoon lead, I've got Valk up. Um, so that, again, your lead knows that it's being pulled, it's taken care of. Exact same thing with the beacon, um, but it's useful for pulling vehicles as well. Um, or even maxes. If your PL or, or SL squad lead says, hey, we could use a, an anti-air max to get rid of some of these mosquitoes or reavers, you can say, hey, lead, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll pull the max. Um, Alpha 6 has it, or whatever your, your name is, Horus has it, or I've got it, even just I've got it is nice. Um, again, just keeping that communication going. Everything is so much better when there's a back and forth between the squad leads and their members and the PLs and their squad leads, um, and so on and so forth. Okay, now, last part for this is going to be on chatter, right? We all like to contribute to nice conversations during the platoon, especially when things are hectic and, oh my goodness, the orbitals are dropping, right? That gets really hectic and it's fun and it's awesome. I love it. Um, but you just got to make sure that you're not uh, overlapping or overriding the platoon leads orders when those orders are coming in, right? Or the squad leads as well. Um, because things can get fun, but if you want to help contribute to a nice experience, um, and you can hear that the PL or SL is trying to make their voice heard, um, the best way for you to help is to just, you know, hold off um, being excited for, for a couple seconds um, and let the platoon lead get their orders out um, and then resume conversation, right? The, the orders from the PL or SL have to come first before a conversation. It's too important. People need to know where they're going and what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, and once that's done, then conversation can happen, right? It's lots of fun. Um, and we don't want to make our platoons totally silent with nothing but orders, because that, again, wouldn't be great for experience. Um, but keep the chatter... Uh, what's the word? Keep it not toned back, but just be aware of when the PL or SL is talking, um, so that you know, you know okay, when when is it a not a good time to be talking right now? Is the PL or SL giving orders? Okay, then maybe I'll you know hold off on, on the joke that I want to make in two seconds, um, or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for members, um, regular members of a squad or platoon. It's very very easy as members, especially with those that have previous leadership experience, to 
want to get in there and offer advice or really you know go at it uh, because the more knowledge you have the more you want to use it right it's fun you want to make use of these things um, but keeping it to a point where it's helpful and not backseating the lead um, and remembering especially if you have that leading experience then you know what it's like being a PLRSL and so you can help them as well by keeping comms down when the orders coming in and making callouts um, that are nice and helpful Alrighty. So that's basically that. Um, Kasabi, extra notes and a wrap up. Okay, just a few things to reiterate. Irritating to ever. Irritating will take. Irritating to us. Uh, Kasami, we lost you. Sorry, can you restart that? Hear me? Seems hello? like you're not. Hello? Hello, hello. Hear me? Yep, yep. Okay. All right. Start that over. Backseating is bad. Don't do it. My number two big, biggest pet peeve besides saying the beacon is down. Down, it's dead. It's up, it's alive. Don't do either one of those things. I give you. If you're not the PL, don't act like it. There's one PL in every platoon. If you're not it. If you don't have the big yellow star, act like you're the... It's just going to aggravate people. Off the PL, it's going to piss off everybody around, especially those of us that have been around a long time. We don't like seeing that. It irritates us. It's okay. That doesn't bring people back to the game. Same thing for squad lead. If your squad lead is running things. Don't overstep your squad lead. Backseating goes for squad leads as well. Don't do it. Take suggestions. Make them in a friendly way. Don't step on people's toes. If you're that desperate to lead something, Go lead it. If it seems like the platoon lead could step in at any point and say, do you want to start your own platoon? Probably gone too far. Don't do it. We're all here to work together. We're all here to have a good time. Again, bring people back to the game. That's all we want. Is because you're the PL. You're the SL. You have a responsibility to your platoon, to your squad. It's not just about you. It's not just about what you want to do. Pulling lightnings, that's all you want to do? Fine. Make that clear in your platoon. This is what's going on. Don't. It is your job to make sure that your platoon is at fun fights, that they're getting kills, they're not getting... They're having fun. Who aren't having fun there? I was... I led a platoon for a bit yesterday on SMR, and, and CNTR would not cooperate. They just... They didn't want to play with us. I had to struggle to find my people good fights. And that's all I shifted focus to, was finding them good fights. With the squads, but I needed to get people killed. What people are here for at the end of the day. They're here to kill things. So make sure that you are following that responsibility and respecting it, getting your people killed and not getting them far. Because that is annoying. It really is. Um, these things are important because, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I believe SKL is concerned, Let me heal you. leadership is about 20%. What really brings people back to the game that you show as a platoon lead as a squad. Make it fun, you make it inviting, you make it informative. That's what brings people back. It's not tactics, it's not winning every single alert, it's not upgrading the NCNT. It's who you are as a lead that brings people back. That's what's most important, that's why we had this specific training today, because this is when it comes to leading, especially when it comes to leading public platoons. Because they're a completely different breed than you know, rage leading is hunter killers or B-Way running their things. Those are tight, cohesive groups that have been playing together for a long time. What to do? They're friends. They're going to have a good time regardless. As well as public platoon leaders, very large responsibility to make sure that your platoon, your are having super important. Don't forget it. One last note before we end this platoon. Well, two last notes before. As you all should know, Outfit Wars is coming up. Those of you in SKL, if you want to participate, Rage Twisted over here on my right, Outfit Wars. He does a fantastic job of that every single time. The man to go to with Hunter Killers and Outfit Wars. If you're interested in being involved in that, please reach out to him directly. He would love to have the support. And it's a good time. Great. I sit at home streaming, and it's like watching a football game for us. It's a good time. It looks like so much fun. I don't think I could ever do it. <laughs> it looks like a really good time, so if you did, get with Rage. I know he would be happy to have people there. 
Last topic that I'm going to cover, the platoon lead. For closing out your platoons, it's very important how you do it. So we push, you know, putting the Discord link up and putting the feedback form up. Those things are very important. Of course, goes putting links up. Fantastic. <laughs> but there's something else that is equally as important. If you know you've got five minutes left in the alert and you got to go, tell people in your platoon, hey, I don't want to disband this platoon. Does anybody want to take it over after the alert? Don't just step up and say, okay, alert's over. i got to go by disbanding. That leaves a lot of people in the alert. Three, seven people. Or like, hey, we've been hanging out. We've been having... What happened? Now they got to go find something. Make the effort to find somebody in your platoon steps up, say it not for chat. Hey, finishing up an alert on SMB, I got five minutes left, I gotta go. Then everybody's willing to take over this full platoon when I have to leave. Make at least a minimum amount of effort of that to keep that platoon going. Again, that comes back to the experience of the people in your platoon. Keep it going, even if you're not the one running it, your best. Even if you're gonna stay on and you're just exhausted of leaving, leading, people, hey, I'm kind of burned out. Does anybody want to take over this platoon after this alert is up? Make the effort to support the people in your platoon and keep the fun going. Really, that's all they're looking for. That's all any of us are looking for is to keep the fun going. And yes, Horace, don't lead if you're tired. Don't lead if you're mad. Don't lead if you're in a bad mood. It, it doesn't work out for you. It doesn't work out for the people in the platoon. Don't have to lead. Because you're, you're logged on and you're brooder or high or storm lord. If you're not in the mood to lead, don't do it. That's not going to come out good for anybody. Yes. Never feel obligated. Okay. That's it for me. I think I'm good. Horace, how about you? Do we have any questions? Yep. I think that's it for me as well. So at this point, everybody, we're at the Q&A. Does anybody have any questions on leadership? Anything we've talked about or any leadership questions in general? How do you pronounce your name? Uh, Minor Kasami, which I just said. But. Yeah. Okay, um, so I can't actually pronounce it myself. Um, I liked the name. Uh, I liked Horace because I can pronounce that. And then the second bit actually um, is A, it's a nice uh, Quebec Canadian name. Uh, yeah, Bolululu. Um, but uh, I like it. It has actually the same name as a musical uh, tune from Quebec as well, from the fiddling world. Um, and I liked it. It's a nice tune. Um, if you're interested in on what that looks like, you can go ahead and search up uh, the tune by the same name. You can actually look up uh, Andre Brunet if you're interested. He plays a very, very nice version of That's what got me into violin playing in general. Um, but there you go. So more on me. I gotta solve this mystery. I'll look up how it's pronounced. <laughs> Bull Yeah, see, the thing is, I can pronounce it Bull U or something like that, but it's it's having heard someone actually with a really nice Canadian French accent pronounce it, it's like, I just, I refused. I can't. <laughs> the first part of the oh, name oh, is Bo. First part of the name is Bo. B E A U. I know that. I took French in high school, and that's boyfriend. It's Bo. Yeah. Not Bu, it's Bo. So the rest of it, though, forget about it. We can look, we can Google that. I just call him Horace. Yep. <laughs> Bolo. According to Google, it's really simple. It's just Bolu. Yeah, pretty much. It's just it's, it's exactly what it is. You just want to have it with a nice Canadian and French accent that I heard at first. But that's anyway. That's just personal me. Any leadership questions? We don't have to make this about me. Please don't make it about me. Actually, I'd rather not be put in the spotlight for that. It doesn't have to be what we talked about today. Anything you got throw it at us. Um, do uh, about squad lead and flares. Does the squad lead can use? Flares to designate to platoon and stuff. The smokes? The smokes, yeah. The smokes are a great thing to use. At, you know, a, um, thunder, you know, if you have to spot a router, put a smoke on it. Call it out. Thunder on orange smoke, router on orange smoke. Not only helps you and your platoon to there is something that you keep an eye on, but it's also something that your entire faction can. If you use waypoints, only your squad, your platoon can see. So it's best to use it because it lets everybody know what's in the area that, hey, I should go check out Orange. Take a look at it. Yeah, and I'll just reiterate what Rage said in the platoon chat as well. Only your faction can see it. So if you place down in a smoke, 
Um, yes, you can see it. You can see the nice color smokes behind us as well. Um, but the other factions, the Tyrion NC, uh, won't be able to see that. So it's nice. It's a nice little waypoint um, for the whole faction to see. Yeah, they're yeah. pretty universally yeah. known as areas of taking out danger, routers, thunders, things like that. We do have a question in chat for us. How do you shift your mindset when playing on low pop? So that's... It's different for every lead. It depends on their preferences mostly. I'll give you my answer. When I'm playing on a continent, um, and I'm leading a full platoon, say, which I think is kind of what you're asking, how do you take a whole bunch of people and lead them on low pop scenarios, I will try to... Yeah, see you, Species. Thanks for joining. Um, I will try to split up my squads to take on different fights as much as possible, right? We all want good fights um, primarily, so it's less fun if we just take a full 48-person uh, platoon and put them all in a single base that's only actually going to get like 1 to 12 people on it, right? If it's a low-pop scenario especially. Um, and so I try to split them out, right? Try to split them out, especially if I have good squad leads that I can trust to lead um, in smaller fights. Um, yeah, see you, Devastator. Thanks for coming. But yeah, so splitting that up as much as possible, splitting the pop, getting more even fights um, is definitely something to do. Um, and then the other thing to kind of keep in mind is uh, the other bit of the mindset there that I have. If it's low pop continent, like I said, if, if it's low pop, it probably means the map isn't open up either. And so I will, um, I'll actually sometimes allow, like, and I say allow because we have the power to destroy at any time, I'll let the other factions keep their Sunders up at bases where we're actually getting a good fight in, in a low pop situation, um, just because it's more fun for everyone, right? And that's that's the part of this public platoon stuff as well, is that it's not just about our platoon or our faction, but it goes cross-faction as well, right? Thinking, okay, well, it'd be more fun for everyone if we kept the Sunder alive, so we keep it alive. Um, so that's, that's definitely uh, a nice thing to do there, um, as far as kind of what you're being aware of when you're leading blow pop. It's mainly just about finding people good fights um, and doing whatever you can to make that happen, even if it means leaving an enemy under our life. Just because you have the ability to get off the nation, well, the TR to have a good time, doesn't mean you should. It makes SKL look bad. It, it ruins fun reason to do that. Send your platoon to nation for the fight. Kills. Don't cut off the base behind the fight going. There's no point in taking Yeah, absolutely. That Nason's fight, definitely a big one on Hassan. Um, it's easy to cut off just with the way Hassan is set up in a low pop situation. It's really easy to take 48 people and just cut it off and just, yeah, just, just avoid it, just like the Sunders. Again, really wanted to make sure we focus not just on our platoons, um, but on the you know the population of the game as a whole. Like Cass was saying, we want to keep this game alive. We want to keep people coming back, and whatever we can do to have that happen, not only for our platoon but the other factions, we want to do. Yeah. Any other questions? Any questions? Is there like a a class? you would recommend playing if you're leading? Like, maybe Medic being preferable over something else or anything like that? I tend to run Medic just because I play map side a lot. So usually I'll park my point room or whatever or learn that trick. Die a lot, but I'll park myself in the corner, crouch down, open the map so I will every once in a while pop res grenades people heal people go back to the map that's my really you can play as a leader whatever you want whatever you're most comfortable that's just what i feel that's exactly it so, yeah yes, so for yeah. some has got a good point too yes um and that's just it right contrast that um i actually like playing a lot of light assault as a pl i use it just to um get some nice viewpoints where i wouldn't be able to otherwise for my platoon um i do like to run around a bit more than stay in the map um uh, when compared to some other leads, so that helps me more. Um, but um, that it really is just personal preference. Whatever you want, um, whatever is most helpful for you. Something when I'm when I'm really going hard and I want to lead, I'll also sometimes uh, equip a crossbow with the recon darts 
uh, the Hunter crossbow with the Recon Darts and throw that on my Light Assault as well, just so I can get a little bit of extra uh, viewing power from uh, the Light Assault as well. So all these different things. There's not really a, a better class. Um, yeah, run around as a max constantly to assert authority. Anyways, um, if you want, if you have the Ninus to spare, I'd just be prepared to draw that max almost right away because you've got things to do, you know? Um, but yeah, as for what class you play, it really is preference. Um, medic, Light Assault, um, Infiltrator sometimes are usual choices, uh, just for their support capabilities. Oh my goodness, yeah, Voice Changer. Um, yeah, you can have some fun stuff with that too. There's some different voice packs, but as well, external voice packs can be fun. Uh, but make sure people know who you are, you know, we want to know who's leading. Any other questions? Any at all? I guess um, one thing I will say, uh, while you all think of any other questions, if you open up your menus, um, and I'll show you where to get those smokes if you're interested, open up your menu. If you go to the social tab where our platoon is, so hit P on your keyboard if you haven't rebounded, um, you'll see platoon first, but then if you look top left of your screen, you'll see your uh, character bar there, you should see your, your character name and then like your BR level, stuff like that. Under that you'll see the social tab, um, platoon, and then squad certs. If you look at squad certs, it'll cost 200 certs for offense and defense requests, um, and then under that will be 50 certs per colored smoke. Um, we talked about the smokes, and basically the offense defense requests are just a notification to your faction. Again, they're not visible by the other factions, uh, but it tells your faction, hey, you know, I think this is important, we should allocate some more population from our faction to defend or attack this base. Um, there's actually no difference between whether or not you use offense or defense symbols. It's a, a target marker and a shield. Um, there's no difference. Um, mostly it's kind of just see that and see, oh, okay, we should add more pop there. Um, and so you get access to two per squad lead. And so sometimes if I just really want someone to, to you know, see that and go defend it, I'll just throw both offense and defense um, on a base, regardless of what state it's in. But that is where you find those. Any other questions? This is the time to do it. Smoke grenade, awesome. Alright, well if there's no further questions, I will go ahead and start uh, getting those links again. I already linked the Discord link once, but I'll just make it uh, recent and fresh so y'all can join it if you're not there. Um, and I will uh, start wrapping this up. Because um, if you have any other notes, I'll throw them in there for sure as well. I covered it really well. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, We're going yeah, to be doing more nice training. Sure, go ahead. About non-SKL people, sometimes some people got orbital, adult, uh, um, orbital or others, uh, I think like the Colossus thing that they want to share with the squad. How the platoon lead uh, deal with that? Generally it's up to the platoon. They have the ability to and they decide that an orbital is needed. Okay. Orbitals uh, a bit? I got cut out there. Sorry, can you hear me better? Yep. Okay, we tend to limit the orbitals a bit. Everyone has access to them in SKL, but we advise people to use them when they're going to as a base that matters in the alert. Important. Make them count, because they are expensive, even though SKL is huge, doesn't have issues with resources. Ask people to, but it is up to the platoon lead. Like even myself or Horus or Rage, if we're somebody else's platoon and we see that you know an orbital could help in this situation, APL, do you need an orbital here? Let me know. Let me know where you want me to drop it. I can drop one for you. That it would be useful. We'll make that that option that effort to put it to them. Yeah, Rage is right. Orbitals can sometimes be worse, especially if you're killing more friendlies than any that. Um, but it, it's a tool. It's not the be-all, end-all. It's not going to solve every situation and win every fight. It's, it's another tool in your toolbox to being able to.
Any other questions before we close this up? I guess we'll call it here. Uh, thank you all for coming out. I hope you learned something. I know this is not the most fun training to be. And I'm doing more trainings in the future. Not just this one, but others. Tactics and everything we plan on covering in the near future. We're going to be starting having them more regularly. So we hope you come to those as well. And always feel free if you have any questions, if you see us in game, you're more than welcome to reach out to us and ask them if they occur to you a week from now. I remembered a question I was going to ask you at that training. Reach out. We're here to help. We're here to help the faction. We're here to help the outfit. We're here to help the game as a whole. Just ask the question. Cool. If you're in our Discord, ask the question. We are always here to help. Absolutely. Well said. So, my thanks to you all as well, everybody. I'll go ahead and close out this platoon. Join Discord. It's in the platoon chat above. And I hope to see you all there. Thanks for coming, everyone. Let's go shoot some faces. Let's go. Almost, Horace, almost.